But what would happen to oxygen at this moment? The higher we go, the lower the pressure and the less oxygen. But in the inverted atmosphere, there would be less oxygen and less pressure closest to the surface of the Earth. At first, people would feel as if they were on Mount Everest. Many would lose consciousness or experience severe dizziness. Others would have bad migraines and feel unwell because of dilated blood vessels. But what would happen to people who spend a lot of time climbing high mountains? They would adapt more easily. And the rest would have to do the same in the inverted atmosphere. And when people felt comfortable in such conditions, they would begin to enjoy the benefits. We would feel less air resistance. It would be like a vacuum in space. Cars would drive faster and use less gasoline. People would create trains moving at the speed of sound. While running, we would be less tired. But at the same time, planes would fly much more slowly since they would have to go through thick layers of air. We wouldn't have rain for long periods of time, and it would always be sunny. Instead of bad weather, we would face jet streams. Now these powerful icy winds circulate in the upper layers of the atmosphere. They blow over the top of Mount Everest and pose a serious danger to climbers. When the sun's rays heat the air, it rises and encounters cold winds. They push warm air even higher, where it turns into jet streams. These winds are howling at 70 miles per hour. They can easily rip out a tree or tear off some roofs. We would have to build sturdy houses and shelters to survive this calamity. But in the end, the surface of Earth would warm up and push jet streams up. In other words, even if the atmosphere turned upside down, everything would return to its place sooner or later. Perhaps this would happen in a couple of hundred years or millions of years. In any case, the laws of physics and nature would return our planet to its former state. But all living creatures may not live long enough to see it. But what if the planet's atmosphere was constantly flipping over?